Hey guys and welcome back to another video. So to begin off this eye look, I'm actually going in and priming my eyes as per usual. I love my MAC Soft Ochre Paint Pot to neutralize the lids and create a nice tacky base for the eyeshadows to stick to and blend out nice and smoothly. Once you've primed your eyelids, I'm going to go in with the first shadow of the day. I'm using these two kind of peachy pink tones as a transition color. Um, just through the crease on a fluffy crease brush from Zoeva. I'm going back and forth using little windscreen wiper motions and little circular motions to buff out this colour. And just create a nice soft, very kind of light wash of that colour through the crease. Like I said, it's our transition colour for today. To deepen up the crease a little bit more, I'm going in with this beautiful, very vibrant red from the Chi Chi Pride palette on a petite crease brush. And I'm taking that right through the crease just under those peachy pink tones, just to, like I said, deepen up that crease color and bring more of that watermelon effect to the lids. I'm keeping it just above the crease, as you guys can see. I want to try and keep the lids as bare as possible. If it does get on them, it doesn't matter. We will just clean up the crease later but I am trying to kind of focus that color just above the crease. Then I go back in with that fluffy crease brush we used initially and those peachy pink tones, and I buff out the edges of that red. To further deepen up the crease, I'm taking a slightly deeper red tone. This is Love Plus from Sugar Pill. I'm taking that on a Morphe tapered crease brush and just really focusing that right in the socket area, just under the red that we used before. Just creating a nice gradient effect and deepening up those tones. It does look a little bit messy, kind of really washy right now, but we will go back and forth with the other colours that we used previously to blend out the to blend out the edges and soften any harsh lines. Next to cut the crease, I'm going to take my NYX Jumbo Pencil in Milk on a lip brush from Eeg Show. You can use an eye concealer brush, but I love this brush because it does create a nice, very sharp line and I have a lot of control when cutting my crease with this um, lip brush. I do really prefer it to cut my crease. But of course, use whatever utensil you prefer. I'm going in and actually kind of flicking it out on the outer corner. So I keep the cut crease n as normal as usual, but as I get to the outer corner, I'm flicking it out towards the tail of my brow and then filling in the whole lid area with that jumbo pencil to kind of create a nice white blank canvas for the eyeshadow we're going in next. So I'm going in with WA to highlight my brow bone and also set that cream base in place. So I'm initially just placing that on the highest point of the brow and then taking a precise shader brush from Zoeva and packing that all over the lid area. I love this white because it does have a little bit of like a shimmer effect to it. So it really captures the light. I'm taking that all the way to the very outer point where we did create that nice little flick with the cream base. Now for the green part of the watermelon, the base area, I'm going in with this beautiful kind of like apple-y, kind of lime green shadow on a pencil brush from Gloss. I'm going in and just smoking out that lash line area, kind of like you would with a normal smoky liner effect. Then I go in with a fluffy crease brush, a clean one this time, and I just buff out the edges and kind of smoke it up towards the crease area. So it's nice and soft and smoky. Then I'm taking this beautiful apple green or deeper green shadow from the same Pride palette from Chi Chi. I'm going in on the pencil brush again and really wiggling that really close to my lash line, just under that lime green shadow and just kind of buffing it into that green. So I want to create a nice gradient of a, like a soft green into the deeper green tones, if that makes sense. And take your time with this step, guys. It is a bit of back and forth between both green colors to get the desired blended effect. And don't bring it up too high where you are covering all of that white. We are trying to mimic that kind of watermelon effect to the look. So I do creep that white just slightly through the crease area. Next for liner, I'm actually taking the Hyper Sharp Liquid Liner from Maybelline and kind of outlining the green part of the smoky liner, if that makes sense. So yes, it does come up above that wing liner, but I did want to, what's the word? Can I just define it up a little bit more, I guess we could say. To clean up the liquid liner, because I wasn't very neat this time, I go in with this beautiful eye coal from 
Fat in the Moon Cosmetics. And I'm basically just cleaning up the edges. It's called Leaf, so it's a beautiful green kind of cream product. I'm going in and making that liquid liner very sharp and crisp and quite thin. I don't want it to be very thick at all. Then I go in and place the little watermelon seeds along the red crease area. So I'm using the tip of the wand on the liquid liner and just pressing that onto the crease area of my eye to mimic little watermelon seeds. And I really loved how this effect turned out. This is probably the easiest step of everything. And I take those seeds all the way into the inner corner so that whole red bit is covered. Next for lashes, I'm going in with the Icona Lashes in the style Make Him Miss Me from their Midnight Collection. And I love how wispy and fluffy they are. And they also kind of extend on the outer corner so they complement that cat eye shape that we've subtly created. To line my waterline, I'm taking Leaf again from Fat in the Moon, that eye coal. Uh, that cream base eye coal and I'm placing that along my waterline with an eyeliner brush from Eeg Show. Then I'm going in with that apple green uh, deep green shadow from the Pride palette on a Morphe precise shader brush I think that's what it was called. And I'm basically just wiggling that as close as I can to my bottom lash line from outer corner all the way to inner corner making sure to connect those shadows on the outer point of the eye so there's no gap in between. And to smoke it out, I'm taking a pencil brush from Eeg Show and that lime green tone. And I'm just smoking out the edges of that darker green. For my inner corner highlight, I'm taking this beautiful prismatic eyeshadow from NYX in the shade Mermaid. It's a beautiful light green uh, duochrome shadow. I love it so much and it really highlights the inner corner of the eye as well. And to finish off the eyes, I'm going in with some bottom lash mascara to finish off the look. And this is the completed look, guys. I really hope you enjoyed it. Let me know what you think down below. I'm thinking of doing a fruit salad kind of makeup series. So lots of different fruity looks. Let me know what you guys would like to see next. I love you all so much. And thank you for sticking through to the end. I'll see you guys soon. Have a great day.